We're starting off today with some Quiplash. We're uh, in the mood to be mediocre, and then following that up, we're gonna play some Action Hank. To start putting Rare Pepe as all the answer already. Don't, don't, don't do that immediately, don't do man. You have to hold off on that for a little while. You got 48 seconds. You got plenty of time. I Mr. feel like it's like, um, you know, any diet ends in the same way for me. It's always like complete resolute support. And then, ah, I can have like a burger and fries. And then like a week later, it's like whole pizza. Out. Thanks, That's Mr. like quick flash. It's basically that. like... We'll be really witty at the start, and then someone will say Belegda, and then everyone will say Belegda, and then it's just like... Too late, it's over. No one would guess this is where you, uh, or where the treasure is buried. It's your mother, or next to Grub's Tavern. God damn it, which one of these is Northern Lion? Everyone would guess next to Grub's Tavern, that'd be the first place I'd look. These are both traditional Northern Lion answers, though. <laughs> Alright, I'm going your mother. You can't talk trash to us from the other side of the room. I know. Sitting on the computer. Your mother took the vote. Oh, that's bullshit. Audience favorite, 57%. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. I voted for Grub's it. Grub's Tavern meta, man, is getting old. I think It's not old in the least. It's the newest thing. You, you I've tell never me heard your mother jokes are, are newer than Grub's Tavern? Look, in yeah, contrast, oh, yeah. See, here's the thing is, though, your mother jokes are like a fine wine. They get better with age. I don't even know what Grub's Tavern is, and I'm already bored of it. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, the name of a really drinks. bizarre diet that just never caught on. Eat your own feats for protein or buttworms diet. So I'm not taking buttworms diet because uh, it actually did catch on in the 50s and you've broken my immersion with this lack of realism, so... <laughs> I apparently couldn't choose one. It went away really quickly. I like buttworms diet, though, because it's probably not even in... It doesn't involve your butt or worms. It's just like a catchy name That's somebody right. came up with. It involves both, actually. Yeah, it actually is both. You eat tapeworms and then you shit out... Tapeworms? Less. Well, you shit out less because they eat the food, but oh. I mean, they, they shit in your colon and then you shit out their shit. I feel and like shit out shitting corpses. less, that would be, like, never counterintuitive. They never die? They're immortal <laughs> and, like, 12 feet long. Gross. That's horrifying. They actually get over 25 feet long. I don't want to know that. That's gross. I don't want to I haven't told a single lie over the course of today's stream. Ever, I don't think. In yeah. my whole life, yeah. Nick is too I'm unique and interesting to pander effectively. <laughs> Wow. You really underestimate my pandering ability. Speaking of pandering effectively. A funny thing to write down on a form when it asks you for your sex. Yes or yes please la la li 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 la 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 li. <laughs> <laughs> yes is going to take it over yes please la 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 li la la You can't try too hard, man. You can't try too hard. Exactly. That was just a little too, like, a little too over the top. Is that still self-aware? It's still popular with the kids to not try as hard as you can, but still exactly. like, give it a little bit of an effort. Yeah, the MTV generation. The worst thing you could stuff a bed mattress with is 50 pounds of aluminum foil or 12-foot tapeworms. It's too it's too early for that one, man. That's a reference. What would be so bad with the aluminum foil? It would just crunch a lot. I'm not I a bed, I, I just crunch a lot. <laughs> Every time we turn over, it's like crunching. 12-foot tapeworms took the audience vote by 66%. I would rather sleep in a mattress full of tapeworms. No fucking way. At least it would be soft. Yo, if the mattress was oh like completely God. for medically sealed, wouldn't you go with the tapeworms? They would yeah, be kind of weird and comfy. Get over. out and get in your butthole. No, it'd be like a little <laughs> massage bed. Yeah, you like all the times the have springs like... pop out of the mattress and get in your butthole. <laughs> you wake up with a distended belly and an ass full of worms. All right, I'm going to vomit. I'll be right back. Little known fact, the fourth wise man gave baby Jesus the worst gifts of all, herpes or body dysmorphic disorder. Herpes takes the audience vote. Oh, it's fucking... 61%. <laughs> you reap what you sow, Chad. You reap what you sow. <laughs> yes, feed me more. Body dysmorphic disorder had alliteration, and it was... It had a cadence. ba da da ba da da ba da Instead of buru. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there. You're giving chat too much credit. Wow. I've, I've literally <laughs> never, like, decided upon a submission based on its cadence. Right, you, <laughs> right, <important, man. laughs> I look at it and go, ha, that's funny, It's that subliminal, one. man, you don't think about it. Here it comes, here comes the fuck Mathis, muck Mathis. Here we go, I'm ready. I'm gonna replace Mathis with Boone. Boone's a good dude, I wouldn't even argue with it. Bear, can you do that impression NL says you're really good at, but I can't remember who it is. Michael Caine? No. Even oh, a Michael Caine. Michael Caine with... Just not that one. Oh, I, didn't see I think that's specifically <laughs> the one you said he was not good at. Yeah. Literally yesterday, I was like, Bear's impressions are all good except Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> it's Randy Savage. Randy Savage 
Randy Savage, Randy Savage, Sandy, Sandy Ravage. Just oh, Sandy. Oh, I'm scrambling my brain. <laughs> I tried to come up with an answer here. Don't try to come up with Randy Savage as an answer. Randy Savage's daughter, Sandy Ravage. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody typing Randy Savage's daughter, Sandy Ravage? No. Bears say when you nut, but she keeps sucking in Randy Savage's voice. I don't. You I should, don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's when that's not an 11.15 a.m. voice. That'll be our $2,000 stretch goal on Patreon. HR would probably get the most complaints on bring your blank to work day. Dick pics or butt plug? Dick pics or butt plug? Here, get your dick pics and butt plug. <laughs> New York butt plugs here. New York butt plugs are the finest quality. Only shipped domestically. Butt plugs for you. The audience's like favorite Stamper butt again. plugs. 60% of the vote. I think it's fair because bring your butt plug has a uh, it has a cadence. No, right, no, don't say the cadence again. The yeah. Combination of three items Sell that alliteration. It is, man. I love alliteration, actually. Alliteration is one of my favorites. Oh, one with 69 votes. The weirdest combination of three items you could buy at the store: condoms, Doritos, and rare Pepe's. The last three the items at the last Radio Shack. <laughs> That's, That's great. Awesome. So culturally relevant. Yeah. It, it, it was only made better by the inclusion of rare Pepe's in Mathis' submission. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, but it took it! Of course Are it you did! Audience me? favorite for rare Pepe's at 57%. <laughs> Don't fucking applaud yourself, man. I voted for Radio Chat. I'm applauding for chat. <laughs> for just being, under your bed being chat. What's Are looking... you happy that you're destroying Quiblash? <laughs> What's lurking under your bed when you sleep? Another bed or butt plugs? It's like you, when you get the guy who's just slightly better at Street Fighter, <laughs> and, he, and he wins every game, so he just throws everybody the whole time. You're like, don't, dude! Okay, no throwing! And he's like, no fuck it. I'm gonna keep throwing, because <laughs> you gotta come up with some defense to it. Yeah. And then nobody Punishing plays you. Street Fighter again, and they stop inviting you to the, the party where they play Street Fighter. Rare Pepe's are not sold in shops! No, it's not that I'm pandering to chat, I'm applauding because chat hates me, but they still give me the win. <laughs> yeah, chat is right. terrible, says a member of chat. <laughs> <laughs> what I've learned is using the same answer twice, ironically, does not get you votes. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a rough right, way to we'll go. we'll be doing that again. Triple down, butt plugs all the way. There is actually a little bit of a wonder in my head of if you go double down again, will it come back again twofold? <laughs> I bet it wouldn't. A great opening line to start a conversation with a stranger at a party. This was awkward, or so I lost the baby last night, ellipsis. No votes. <laughs> <laughs> Mediocre! My heart says fuck Mathis, but my brain also says fuck Mathis. <laughs> the one phrase the NSA is tired of watching us type into Google. Where is Kate Upton in Game of War? <laughs> or how much does a banjo cost in US dollars? How much does a banjo cost in Kazooie's? I think adding one more additional question mark really sealed the deal for you there in that Kate Upton yeah, submission. Yeah, it really did. You know how long it took me to fucking come up with that? <laughs> I've rephrased that about a hundred times. <laughs> George W. Bush and Dick Cheney's rap duo name, Dick and the Bush, oh. oh my god! These are both really good. Or Big Oil and DJ Buckshot, those are both incredible names. <laughs> I think Props Dick and the Bush is were. just like, it's so... That's what it would be. How did I not see it? That has to win. It. I'll take it. 103 to 21 and 83% of the audience vote for Dick That's and the Bush. That's really good. Really? I can't be salty about that one. It's really, really good. It's that really big good. of a landslide? I'm proud of that one. <laughs> How did I never look into... You know what it is? It's because I was like, Dick Cheney's obviously the part after the end. Yeah. Because he's the vice president. The weirdest thing you can buy at the Vatican gift shop, Shiva statue or a golden bong older than the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> Oh shit. There's some uh there's some high quality submissions this round. I don't know, somebody in chat said we used all our energy in the first round. No, we got some left. Dude, big oil and DJ Buckshot, I love it. Gold. I thought it was pretty good it's as well. So good. <laughs> it was good. It was definitely good. I had the misfortune of going up against Dick in the Bush. I don't know if I can actually come back to win this, so I might I might play for sabotage. Which you usually ends up sabotage? getting me. Start throwing out the memes, man. Yeah, we well I mean, don't, it's, it's, it's like guaranteed 20% if you just say a meme. So. If I can just say exactly. something like, Mathis, Ryan, and Nick all suck big old dongs, might get some audience votes from that. I'm not gonna say Belegna chat. We're not ready for it yet. A great way to cure the hiccups. Vote for this one, you won't. <laughs> Keep sucking. Blast a line of coke. 
or put a big old goddamn dick in your mouth. Put a big old goddamn dick in your mouth. Got 13% of the audience vote. Last line of code grabbed a shitload of player votes. Only 18% of the audience vote. Vote for this one. You won't. Oh, don't tell me mine took first. Oh, no. Oh, God. 24% of the vote for Jesus Christ. Northern Lion, which means keep sucking. Oh, God, you fuckers. I, keep, I, I just typed sucking. that in. 45% <laughs> of the audience. Throw a meme out there, man. I'm Voted telling you. for keep Jesus sucking. <laughs> Which results in Mathis Games <laughs> pulling away the win. Oh, for his brilliant submission of Keep Sucking. What a nuanced game from <laughs> Mathis. In the same rounds as his, like, legendary Dick in the Bush, Mathis yep. pulls out a victory. With Is it even sucking. possible to blow a dick when you got hiccups? God, keep on hating. No, good. Yo, don't tell me you guys are terrible. It's freaking old. Where <laughs> place to put my rare Pepe's gets like 99.9% .9 of the vote. <laughs> Pepe should not win every time, Mark on Zach. Pepe's mm. belong in stores, not in Quiplash. 40 if they units are of rare, time. they will always win. <laughs> if they're uncommon, you're out of luck, buddy. Yeah. Legendary Pepe's are where it's at now, actually. I think, like, dev set Pepe's. Nobody even has them. Come up with a name for a sitcom about a bunch of wacky nuns. Ain't having none of this. Or unconventional. These are both actually pretty These are good. terrific <laughs> submissions. What do you mean the pun wins? Ain't They're having, both puns. Ain't yeah, having exactly. none of this. Takes sixty-nine percent of the audience <laughs> vote. Wow. Barry, yours didn't have the right cadence. God damn it. What they really found in King Tut's tomb, Mathis can't think good. There you go. But the Golden Bong's older than the Bible. You got a lot of mileage out of that now. Oh fucking here we go. I've had this one again. Yep. Chat. You have a huge responsibility not to pick the same answer you picked last time, and you you don't even know it yet, but I promise you. <laughs> a name for a really scary swamp. Shrek Swamp or Shatner Swamp? Thank you for having the restraint to not say scary swamp again. Or really scary swamp, or spooky swamp. <laughs> We've already been down that road. It's designed for Shrek to be the answer. Yeah, a little bit. It is not. You're all just mentally 11 years old. Don't vote on the scrub answers. I kind of agree with you, actually. Yeah, I want to be told when I'm bad. The second thing said on the moon, this isn't quite as big as my mother. Or I just came and it froze instantly. No votes. No votes. No votes. <laughs> Audience, no votes. <laughs> I want to tie at zero. <laughs> Mediocre. You can say fuck math is all you want, but stop making me win. Yeah, please. Come up <laughs> like... with a three-word sequel to Eat, Pray, Love. Shit, shower, shave. Or come, apologize, fall asleep. <laughs> that was good. I gotta go shit, shower, shave, because I follow that credo right it's now in It's an important life. life lesson. Sure, sure. No slam, spit, shoot. <laughs> Yo, we gotta... <laughs> you can't just... The game should not become what inside joke fits best for this uh, answer. That's what they want it to be. <laughs> you gotta... You gotta that is the audience break, you have created, though. No, 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 no. Go you with. We have the opportunity, though, to expand our, our consciousness here and our, our comedy skills. Can I say something real quick? This is a bad prom. Yeah, is this yeah everybody's prom? Really it's dumb. a bad prom. Like, nobody knows the names of Jesus' apostles to be able to make a reference to any of them. There's Matthew nothing Park funny about the apostles of Christ. It's a bad prom, man. How much time? There? Shit. Uh, Fuck, I didn't much. hit that. <laughs> yeah. Northern nice Lion's bear. the only one with an answer. Yes! I got a whiplash! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh that is just it's a bad fucking prompt, man. Oh my god, it's the greatest quiplash of all time. <laughs> it's a bad prompt. Fuck all y'all. Uh unfortunately also Jesus. I mean that is a good submission. It's, that's like a it could be a twenty to thirty percenter. Yeah. Did I just lose cause of that bullshit? Yeah. Yeah, you lost because nobody typed in an answer. He got like 8,000 points from that, man. So stupid. It's also the top answer in our history of playing the game. <laughs> Can't top that. Bow out now, man. Uh -oh. You're the Quiplash King. Both of the questions I got, I feel like there might be just like a right answer to, and everybody's going to say the same thing. What a dog's sext message might say, oh, there was only one way to go, and you both took it. Yeah. No votes. Give a dog a bone. 
or that's want a bone? Fault. That means it's a shitty question. No, man, there are, there are other directions There's, to go in. This one I want to give a little bit more credit to. Just because there's one easy answer and you guys both took the easy way out does not mean it's a bad prompt. Look, mine is even better because mine is closer to the idiom. I think double question mark meta has like a lot of strength behind it. Because it did give uh Oh man, dogs can rarely remember where they've buried their bone before. Hello? What? You okay? Something You're happened like the dude was saying something about Mathis' answer and then I got an achievement for it. I don't know what happened. The crime you would commit if you could get away with happened? it. <laughs> Booting no black tar class. heroin with Obama on a bank. Or jaywalking. Yeah. It's a lot of B alliteration. I gotta pick that one. It's maybe a one too many. What? Alliteration only works uh, if it's an odd number. It's a, black tar it's heroin. A, uh, no. No, it's two sets of two, man. It's a couplet. How did Obama jaywalking Obama beat bank? booting black tar heroin with Obama on a bank? Obama and on do not count as uh Her, you brought it up like direction. three games ago. No. You remember that whole don't try too Bama. hard? Obama bank. God damn it. You it tried too bad. hard. I guess so. It's also, it's time. also got hilarious number of syllables. Never vote again. <laughs> Withhold all votes until play improves. <laughs> <laughs> and it says for the watch. My vote hasn't mattered since Bush Gore. <laughs> That's really good. A very, A very unnecessary surgery. surgery. Additional eyelids or dick engorgement. That's a very necessary surgery. You're you're mis misconstruing the sentence. Strategic voting. <laughs> <laughs> What's that even mean? Vote to punish the dick engorgement. <laughs> uh, I, I'll take that if they want to give it to me. They did. Additional eyelids. This is the new strategy. At first, it was say the first low of all, They were humor. both bad. Now it's incite chat to vote for the one that is not lowbrow humor. Boo, additional eyelids, boo. Quiplash is actually not a game about improving our humor, but improving chat as people. <laughs> <laughs> the worst family secret that could come out over Thanksgiving dinner, Mom, I'm dating Mathis, or the stuffing is people, and I'm dating Mathis. <laughs> That's a really, oh god, my computer fell asleep. That's unique. There we go. You all right, man? It's a very self-serving <laughs> prophecy there, Mathis. This yeah, one is work. good. Audience favorite of 81%. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, of course. Bamboozled, uh, bamboozled you, Chad. It's true. Uh, top answer of the entire round was Mom, I'm Dating Mathis. That was a good answer. That was one of the Thank best you. answers. Thank you. Made Mathis. better by the fact that Mathis said it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so up no. your own asses. <laughs> I don't like memes. You're that's the one joke. putting that's in the That's a joke! That's a joke! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Amusement New requirement at amusement parks. You must be this blank to ride. You must okay, be this high to ride. That was so yeah, that's easy. That's exactly what I would have said. That is New easy. I didn't vote. That's fair. No votes! High gets the win. It fucking better, man. You're getting booed for that one. That's ridiculous. You must be this high to ride is an elegant joke. That's the first joke. Is it? Well, that says something about you guys, I think. <laughs> You're getting booed. A good catchphrase to yell every time you finish pooping. Ding, 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 roast is done! Or fuck! Alright. I would like- Chat, do you want to go back to the roller coaster question now? <laughs> 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 ding 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 takes it. It better. I'm like pretty sure that's just second. your actual your catchphrase every time you're finished pooping. <laughs> no, ring a ding ding, baby. Yeah. Average, these are both bad answers too. These are not bad answers. Strategic bad answer. voting. How are these funny? You're a bad. Runner. How it accidentally eats ten dicks and then because dicks is not inherently funny anymore, we just put L O L O L O L on the back. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, now they know that I know it's not funny and that's funny. Every <laughs> vote submitted to one answer is not actually a vote for that answer, but a vote against the other. Bad rats would have been better. A strange poster to hang in a college dorm room. A collage of TV guides or rare Pepe poster. Go with the rare Pepe. Someone Strategic gets a vote here just for showing up. <laughs> <laughs> for, for putting an answer in good faith, Thank they you. got an answer. Rare Pepe though, Rare Pepe poster has alliteration. Was it at least like mildly Let's funny? Pepe poster has alliteration. That's what you go for, I thought. That's, not, that's just one of many elements. <laughs> it's like saying what I look for in food is salt. I thought your answers were supposed to be good this round, Northern Lion. Look, his answers were I bad. won both answers. I was like, his answers weren't bad. Let's go over through some other ones. Ding, 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 <laughs> roast is done. Fuck. 
Um, rare Pepe poster. Oh god, I'm, I'm, my mind is exhausted with it. I got nothing for this. Don't act like you have a finite amount of funny, man. I have no funny, but I'm like a negative funny now. A finite amount of funny would be a good submission for pretty much anything from this point forward, Dude, though. Dude, I think there is actually some truth to that. Five seconds. Adam Sandler. He had a finite amount of funny. That's I true. Didn't read, I didn't even read the second question. I just typed a word. You, you know see word. his face when he ran out of funny, too. He had one yep. funny, and he used it on Happy Gilmore. <laughs> he used it. Okay, everyone. He had a half a funny for the other one. I didn't vote. You didn't vote? Uh, 48 inches of cream is just like, you got like four 12-inch members of the band. No, you've oh, got eight five eight point one eight inches. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> break down the math for me, Ryan. I need to know. You either vote on shit or an inside joke. That's just life, man. You get a vote for shit or an inside joke. Either way, you're not really like, having a great time. The worst halftime show: the Invisible Dancers or the Shit oh, Dancers. My God. Oh, this was the this. Okay, this is the one I didn't read. The dancing in a field. But tell me it's fucking no vote, man. It's a good submission. I got 80%. Fuck you guys. Invisible Dancers is pretty good. How did shit dancers get 20%? Like, that's what... <laughs> does it just get a flat 20 no matter what? Matt has got two prompts, and his answers were, I got nothing and shit. A good sign that you've drunk too much Mountain Dew. You okay. woke up with three that's Xboxes and some Doritos answer. is getting all of my votes. Thank you. I'll take the win. <laughs> I'm sure you will, man. So, there you go, Chet. 61%! <laughs> Three Xboxes and some Doritos. Even though Luke is getting salty, how do we and Quiplash give the most mean, dumb answers? Northern Lion takes the victory. Chat, I love you. <laughs>